afternoon, everyone. This is the Global Cooling Rundown from July 21st to July 30th, 2017. Record cold again in Brazil. This is the second year in a row. Crops absolutely being decimated. This is what the vegetables look like. Anything, all the fruit and anything left in the fields right now. Frosted and 100 mile per hour winds blowing through. New Zealand incredibly early polar blast and then followed by another polar blast and yet another one. And I love how they say it's nowhere near as bad as last week's storm. And then rare snowfall on Table Mountain in South Africa. All I'm hearing about is fires and heat. What about all these cold anomalies, mainstream media? Front page news across the planet. An iceberg has broken off down in Antarctica. And this iceberg is so large, it's actually going to affect the planet. Well, not really, because in 1956, there was an iceberg six times this size. And in 1927, four times the size of this one. And the media will have you believe it's all because of global warming, yet the temperatures are dropping in Antarctica. Even when we look at December, which is the highest of the summer in the Southern Hemisphere, it's still minus 14.5 C, where that ice sheet broke off. And then now it's minus 31 a week ago when it broke off. So I don't know how ice can melt unless there's underwater volcanic activity, which there is all over the Antarctic Peninsula. In, in every grand solar minimum, there's a direct correlation of volcanic activity increases. And here we are entering into a grand solar minimum. So you might look for other increases in volcanism, like the steam, the volcanoes that just have awoken under the ice sheet of Greenland. And if you haven't seen, the petition is still open to name the new grand solar minimum, the Eddy minimum, based on Jack Eddy's research. Climate fraud of all time. Everything the IPCC based its projections on the hockey stick, untrue. Michael Mann said, hey, the hockey stick's true. Dr. Tim Ball said, no, it's not. Here's my findings. So Mann decided to sue Ball in court. And lo and behold, the court asked Michael Mann for the data to prove the hockey stick. He says, I'm not showing you. The court said, hey, that's taxpayer funded research. He says, I don't care. That's my private research. Believe me, I'm an expert. I'm not showing you the data. Contempt of court. And temperature change always leads CO2 by 9 to 12 months. Here we are going into a grand solar minimum. You'd expect to find cooler Europe during the summer, more sea ice, lower global temperatures. And that's exactly what we're seeing. Many Ice Age conversations. Episode number 24, an interview with Rick Monday and myself about Earth's climate changes as the grand solar minimum intensifies. Taiwan bracing for a direct hit from Typhoon Nesat. It's actually changing course a little bit more northerly. Flooding occurring already in the northern Philippines. We get these cartoon graphics from AccuWeather, but the RGB interesting look as two tropical systems fight for dominance. Typhoon about to land over Taiwan East Coast in the Elan area in the next five hours. As soon as it passes Taiwan, it's going to go over into Fujian province. From that point, flooding. Nobody's talking about the rice or the buckwheat. And this typhoon's not such the wind event, but what it is, an absolute rain soaker. That's going to have an effect on the farmlands of China from Fujian all the way up to Shanghai. Looking for trends in cooling temperatures across the planet, pinging on the mini ice age. Greenland ice sheet summit plunged to the record low July temperature. 2016, breaking the 1992 record, minus 30 Celsius in July. And then 2017, breaking that record. Definitely a trend showing two years in a row. This record, 33 degrees Celsius below zero. But I love how they just dismiss it. It's a curiosity. It's not worth much. Yet we know the forecast is going to be significant cooling dropping off rapidly. Earth's temperatures are beginning to cool. Greenland, this is the year to date melt. Stories abounding last year about the aquifer lake draining in the area of Kulusuk. And guess what? The Icelandic pilots just spotted steam breakthroughs in the exact same glacial areas.